Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's class of Microsoft Office. Today we, we are going to look at Microsoft Publisher. We'll try and see how to use Microsoft Publisher and how we can benefit from this software. Let me start by mentioning that Microsoft Publisher is mainly used for publications. So for those of you that make flyers, that want to make uh, brochures, that want to make posters, certificates and all sorts of things, you use Microsoft Publisher for that. And so when you open Microsoft Publisher, just like the other softwares, you see the templates that you can use. But now we'll start with a blank page. We'll come back to templates later. So when you open Microsoft Publisher, this is how the interface looks like. It's still got, just like the other softwares, tabs here and ribbons under each tab and so on and so forth. So if you look at Microsoft Publisher, most of the people ask to say, but what's the difference between Microsoft Publisher and Microsoft Word? Because it looks like Microsoft Word and you can write uh, things here just like you can do in Word and you can insert. So firstly, let me open Microsoft Word and just show you the distinction between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Publisher. Okay, so Microsoft Word, like we mentioned earlier, let me just put this side by side so that you can see that. Yes, I hope. Okay, so, so if you look at the two, they look similar. They all have the blank pages and they all have the rulers, just like this one has got rulers, I've got almost similar tabs here, and so on and so forth. The main difference is that for Microsoft Word, it's mostly for creating and typing documents and, and the like. While for publisher, it's mainly for creating publications such as posters, flyers, and so on and so forth. I'll show you a quick distinction shortly, but first let's get into publisher and see how we can make uh, something. So suppose I wanted to make a flyer or I'm selling maybe a car. Uh, let's say I'm selling a Hilux and I want to make a flyer uh, to advertise the car that I'm selling. So you can make that flyer in Microsoft Word, but you realize that it will be much easier for you to make it in Microsoft Publisher than in Word. Let me show you how. So for instance, I will need to write, uh, I'll need to write for sale here. So I probably know that this product that is on this flyer is actually for sale. And how do you do that? You go here on home, there's what you call draw text box. So you click on draw text box, then you come here and you just click like that and you have a text box and inside I can write maybe for sale like that. Now that looks small so I can highlight everything and increase the size maybe to 72 like that for sale. Now if I want to uh, move this anywhere I can easily hold it by clicking on, on it and just drag it and reposition it to any part of the document that I want it to be like that so in contrast to microsoft Word, you realize that it's not as easy to move let me just write for sale so if i wanted to move this for sale maybe to the bottom of the or, 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 or the, the middle of the page here it won't be as easy to move as it is in publisher for microsoft Word, i'll have to probably press enter a couple of times and press tab like that for me to get it to where it is but whereas for publisher all i have to do is drag it to any place of the page that I want it to be. That's an advantage of Microsoft Publisher. Then uh, another thing uh, I can do is if I want this to be centered, so I can click the box here and I can automatically center this. If maybe right now it doesn't look centered, I can't find the central position. I can just go here on align, say relative to margin guidelines, go back to align and say maybe center and it will automatically center that for us. If you noticed, I centered the whole box, but if I want to center the text as well, I'll just put the cursor in the box here, then I can center the whole text or align it as I want it to be aligned. And we have our for sale here. Another thing that I want to show you is when it comes to inserting of pictures. So let's say I want to insert my picture there. I have a picture of highlight like here, and I'll insert it, and the picture is there. I can drag and reposition this picture and resize it 
according to how I want it to be. I can drag it easily to any position. Let me show you the same thing with Microsoft Quid that it's not uh, the same. So I'm going to insert here, say insert picture. I'll insert highlights and it says OK. So it's inserted there. But I can't easily drag this picture to where I want it to be. It's got some fixed positions where it can be. I'm trying to drag it here. I can't put it anywhere where I want it to be. Quite right, there are some things you can do to move it uh, to a certain position, but it's more difficult in Microsoft Word than it is like in Publisher, where you see I can just click on it, drag it to any part of the uh, of the picture that I want it to be. If I, same thing, if I want it to be centered, I can just say center. I can align it how best I want it to be aligned. Another thing that uh, uh, that distinguishes publisher from uh, Word, for instance, when it comes to creating of publications, is that these rulers you see here, these rulers are for measurement purposes to help you divide the page how you want it to be. Suppose I wanted to get the midpoint of this page. Now, this page by, by default is uh, <coughs> an, uh, a 20-inch page on the horizontal and 11.5 on the vertical. So I can extend these rulers Maybe I want to put halfway by clicking the ruler like that, and I can put it anywhere I want and I have these guidelines. Now, these guidelines you see here, these will not show up when you're exporting publications when you're printing. The, these lines are just there to help you uh, segment the page. I will guide you on where you want to put something. So if I want to print this, these lines will not show. They are here to guide me. And I can put as many lines as I wish to help me with guidance. It's up to me. So for now, I'll remove the lines since I don't want any lines. So I can go further here and add maybe another uh, text box, maybe to put the price to say Toyota, Toyota Hilux price, maybe uh, say 15,000 US dollars. I can increase the size of this. Now, notice that the price has disappeared because the text box is small. That's not a problem. I can always increase the size of the text box and the price will begin to show like that. And now I have my price. If it's too big, I can always reduce it to fit it to how I want it to be. I want this to be centered. I click here. It goes to the center. And I have my price there. If I want the whole text box, this is too big. I can resize the text box like that. If I want it to be centered, same thing like we did before. You go on home align and say center this and now it's centered we have our toyota highlights there so basically this is how you use microsoft publisher for making publications now you can make any type of publications by inserting text boxes inserting pictures inserting shapes and so on and so forth and easily being able to drag them from one position to the other and that's okay but let me show you one feature that makes microsoft publisher uh, a very powerful tool for making publications one feature that makes pub Microsoft Publisher is the fact that you can import templates that are already pre-designed and you can edit them according to your specifications. So let me show you what I mean. When I go on new here, I have some feature templates. I can go online and search for templates or I can just go here and look for a built-in template. So suppose I wanted to make uh, maybe a business card or a brochure or a flyer or, or, or a certificate for that matter. All I have to do is click on any of these and it will give me some uh, pre-made designs of what I can use. So for instance, I want to make uh, flyers here. I have a lot of flyers, pre-designed flyers that I can use here to edit. Oh, but for in our case, let's try and make a certificate. So you can see there are a lot of templates you can use for certificates here just by clicking. And these are built-in templates. You don't need the internet to access these templates. They are at your disposal even without internet. And you can look at which one is appealing to you like that. Maybe I'll go with this one. Then you can go here on create and Microsoft Publisher automatically create that publication for you. And there you have a full certificate. And from there, all you can do is edit it according to specifications. You can remove this uh, to add your own logo. You can change the wording on anything. You can edit basically any uh, part of this certificate and you see all you have to do is open a template and, made it, uh, and edited it. It saves us on a lot of time because there are a lot of uh, templates which are out there. 
suppose you want to make a, a, a template and you don't like what's in here you can always go online you can search for a template maybe i'll say certificates again and i can search and as you can see searching for thousands of templates this is online now on the internet and we have more styles of certificates we have on the internet here so you can choose from these uh templates on what best you want just by clicking maybe you want this was best teacher or maybe this certificate looks good you go on it we found this online you say create it's downloading the certificate for you so you wait a bit as it's downloading after downloading it automatically add and you have your certificate here of uh, achievement and you can edit this name to say maybe john doe yes and so on and so forth the me certificate of success you see what i'm doing is editing this as how as i want it to be and it does the job for me so like i mentioned this is one of the best features of microsoft publisher because it gives you a wide range of built-in uh built-in templates as well as online templates so let's take for example we want to create something that we can use to fold so we have paper folding here you can click on paper folding here and you can see various uh designs that we have here on how you can put in text and fold the paper so that your text can look beautiful so for instance if i wanted to uh, i'll go with classic here if i go with the classic it shows me where to fold the paper by looking at these lines so i can put information in this it will be displayed and in this and in here and in here when i put the information when i print this it will show me where to fold this paper so that it can look in such a design and still have my information displayed this is how it's going to look when, when, when you're done it gives instructions it's going to look like a jet but this jet is going to have words that you're going to put out so if i put words here like look out look out i can put pictures here and so on whatever i put when i fold this it's going to look like this and here we have those words that i put and under here we are going to have something just like that so you can also make fold outs there is a variety of of templates that you can utilize here uh, to make your life easy if it's brochures you can have a, a series of brochures here mm, which brochure should i get maybe i get uh, the bounce brochure here as you can see it segmented it for you it showed you where you can put information and where it's going to be folded so you are going to fold this brochure uh, after printing it but before printing it you can put information here you can edit your information put your logo put your pictures and so forth and so on and go to the second page and when you are done inside you fold this brochure and you print it just like this and it does a good job for you so basically that's what microsoft publisher is used for it's used for making publications and it makes your life easy by having thousands of templates that you can use to just edit and beautify your work and make life easy for you we end here with microsoft publisher thank you for your attention we'll continue tomorrow have a good day.